So you're trying to remove your Windows 11 pin, but the remove button is grayed out. Or maybe you have forgotten your pin and can't even get access to your desktop. Don't worry, this video has you covered. I'll show you a few simple fixes. If nothing works, I'll show you a powerful tool that helps you reset your Windows pin without even logging in. First, in case you don't know where to remove the pin, right click on the start menu, then click on settings, then go to accounts, and then scroll down and go to sign in options, and then click on pin windows hello. This will expand the option. Here, you can change your pin and also remove the pin. So simply click on remove to remove the pin. But if this button is grayed out, let's fix that. Under additional settings, look for this option. For improved security, only allow Windows Hello sign in for Microsoft accounts on this device. Simply turn it off and then close the settings and then again open the settings and then go to accounts and then go to sign in options and then click on pin windows hello now you should see a remove button to remove the pin simply click on remove and then it will ask for a confirmation are you sure you want to remove the pin so just simply click on remove and you have to verify your password before you can remove the pin so enter your microsoft account password and click on okay now even after turning this option off the remove button is still grayed out you have to turn off the passwordless option in microsoft account for that go to accounts and then go to your info and then click on accounts this will open a microsoft account settings here you have to go to security option and then advanced and then you have to turn off the passwordless option then you can go back and go to sign in option again Windows pin and you should see the remove button. If the remove button is still grayed out, then you have to use a local account. For that, you can go to accounts, your info, and then click on this option, sign in with local account instead. Here you have to verify your Microsoft account, put your password and then click on okay. Now set up the local account and then click on sign out and finish. And now sign in with the newly created local account. Now, what if you're stuck on the login screen and can't remember your pin or password? Let me introduce you to this powerful software called Ease as Partition Master. And to use this tool, you'll probably need a, another PC that is accessible and not locked out. You'll find a link in the description for this. You can go there and download this. This tool supports resetting multiple windows sign-in options in addition to PIN. It can also reset passwords, fingerprints, and facial recognition. Once you have this installed, open this up and go to toolkit. Here, look for option called password reset and click on create here select the usb drive option here select your usb drive and make sure there is nothing on the usb drive because it will format the usb drive now you just have to click on create and click on yes now it will create a live bootable usb drive for windows which will run through your usb drive you don't have to install it and you can use this to troubleshoot your windows like you can reset your password and you can do many other things and a quick note before you use this tool removing a pin lowers your pc's security so only do it on trusted device and in safe environment once it's done creating the bootable usb drive now you have to reboot your pc and you have to adjust the boot order from your BIOS. As soon as your computer boots up, you have to click on the BIOS key. Usually it's F2 escape or delete. It's different depending on the BIOS manufacturer. Once you're in the BIOS, look for boot option and change the boot order and give this USB drive higher priority and then save the changes and reboot your computer. And now your computer will boot from that USB drive. This is basically a live version of Windows that is running through your USB drive. Now you can use this to reset your password and there are a couple of programs already installed. There is even a reset password option here. Just simply double click on it and it will open a Windows password reset option. Here you can select your account and then you can simply click on reset and unlock. And this will remove pin or password from that account now shut down your computer and then remove the usb drive and turn on your computer and then 
you'll see that you don't have to enter any password. It will automatically log into your desktop. And again, hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe.